growing up, my dream was to change my family lives, but I didn't think about soccer would be a possibility. In Brazil, I used to play games on the street, barefoot with boys. I used to play all the time. When I wake up, I, I have like a, a small court near my, ho my house. Even after school, I go play soccer until 10 or 11 at night because I love to do that. My favorite football, football memory as a kid was when I was six. I used to have my birthdays in June and it was like the World Cup and my mom made like a birthday with the team of the World Cup and we played a game with all my friends. That was so nice. The one football player that made me believe was Marta. I watched her for the first time, I think it was in the World Cup when we lost to Germany and it was the first time that I watched the uh, women's football game on TV and I loved the way she played and uh, I fell in love with the game. The moment I thought I could make it was, it was when I went to US. I got a scholarship to play for the university there. Before I didn't know anything about soccer and when I moved to US I could like feel the culture of soccer. I feel like how they love the women's football. I see that I could play football as a professional player Be because before I always think about uh, playing football as like a, just like for kids, like just a game. I never thought about being a professional player, but when I moved there, it was like a dream coming true. I got my first call up to the Brazil national team when I was just 15. That feeling was Actually, at first I didn't believe it. I think it was just a joke because uh, growing up, I never thought about like playing for the national team, playing a women's team because I always play with boys. And when, when I was called up, I got there, I, I didn't believe it. I, I think I was dreaming. The reason playing for Brazil means so much for me was because it's like the, the best dream that any athlete can, can have Football is almost like a religion. It's awesome. I, I feel so great. The moment that I was asked to become a captain for Brazil was after Marta got subbed in the game in Europe. After that, all my friends and family was like texting me and saying, oh my God, you're gonna be the, the next captain. I think it's such a great responsibility and a great like uh, start for a young player. I received the call up for the Copa America when I was on vacation in, in my, my house in Brazil. All I can think about was lifting the trophy, that moment that I have never experienced before. I was thinking about since the first game and I knew I, I have to be like the best leader. I have to lead all the girls to, to that, that championships because I was going to lift the trophy and I was so excited about it. Walking up as a captain in the first game felt like I, I feel like I was like overwhelming, but I, I knew I knew what I was doing. I have like a, such a long history of the national team and I was so excited. I was like so focusing on like getting the trophy and lifting at the end. Going to the final, I was thinking about lift it, lifting the trophy. I was like all about that because I knew we had to keep like Brazil at the top in the South America and I was representing all my country, all my friends, all my family. And I, I knew we need that, that, that title to keep like putting Brazil at the top of the, the South America continent. That feeling of lifting the trophy was such a like dreaming come true because when I was young, I never dreamed about this because it wasn't like a reality for me because I am from such a small city. And when I lift that trophy, I knew all my fam family was watching, all the fans were like watching. And I was like so happy because I think we, we deserve it. Like we worked so hard, like all, all those years that I, I have like um, give up like being with my family, give up being with my friends and lifting the trophy was so, so grateful that I, I would n never forget it. The first per person that I called up for the game was my mom. She was so excited. <laughs> she was kind of a little bit like tipsy after so many beers. She was so happy and I, I couldn't talk to her because it was so noisy in the locker room. We had like a big party in the locker room and I couldn't like talk to her, but I could see how, how happy she was.
I think we didn't sleep that night. We went to a nice restaurant in Colombia because we stayed locked in for the whole competition because the, the pandemic. And after that, we could leave the, the hotel. I was so happy to be in the restaurant with a lot of people. And like I call all my friends, I call my family. I was so happy. I want to share like that moment with my, my, my friends. The biggest difference I felt since we win, winning the tournament is uh, I think like the passion and like the fans got like more uh, passionate about the women's side and women's soccer because when I got home I could see like all the fans like going to my house asking me for autographs like signing jerseys. I think it changed since the last time I played and I think that's the way like football, like the women's side is growing up now. Everybody is watching, everybody is trying to, to be a, become a, a soccer player. And I think it's increasing all over the world. <laughs> My welcome back to Arsenal was unbelievable. We got a surprise with all the staff, the fans, the men's team. It was such a nice atmosphere when we got here and we could like be together with them after such a long time on holiday and play with the national team. I think it was great. I, I was really surprised and happy with the, the attitude of everybody and for the club.